why the hell is you self snitching? You watching them niggas in them songs that be telling everything that they did, where they did it at, who they shot, who they robbed, who boo boo boo, where they get their money from, all of that. And then try to figure out how the fuck they got a fed charge when that shit come back up later. And this is La La Madness. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of The Fierce Review. And you guys know where to reach me at all social media platforms, La La Madness and La La Madness Official on IG. Now, um, in this episode, I'm actually going to be talking about a parent who impersonated her 7th grade daughter um, at her school. And then we're going to talk about how that turned out as well. So, Casey Garcia actually went to her, like I said, seventh grade daughter school, which is Garcia Enriquez Middle School near El Paso, Texas. Okay. Um, the thing was, she wanted to do an experiment. So, she filmed herself actually going through a wardrobe change, um, makeup as well, to appear to be a student. So, she, I saw the video, so you guys can check it out also. She had, um, went through and showed us the whole makeup routine that she was doing she changed into a certain outfit with a hoodie so that she could kind of appear to like I said be a student and walk through the halls so um, she actually is seen with her cell phone that she's filming this process walking through the halls she's interacting with principals teachers hey how you doing good mornings all of that is happening while she walking through these school uh, students are speaking to her the faculty everybody um, she's also sitting in class, filming herself watching lectures, um, and she's also filming herself eating lunch at one point as well throughout the day in the cafeteria with the students that's in middle school while she is a grown-ass woman at 30 time, just to let you know. Okay, so, um, so she actually recorded her experience, and then she posted the footage on YouTube, TikTok, and other social media platforms so people could see what um what it took for her to actually get into school because she claimed she was checking to see if the school was safe or safety protocols if she would be able to breach the security as a parent or as an outsider and be able to walk or mingle amongst the children is what she claimed was happening so um someone basically alerted a principal that a woman that they've never seen before looked like a parent and was on a damn campus now, they didn't actually catch her while she was there. So, they didn't come up to her and say, hey, somebody said that you were... No. Guess what they did, y'all? The police came and showed up to her damn house. So, she also got footage of the police coming, showing up to her house to arrest her ass. So, she's, hey, officer, how can I help you? What can I do for you? Surprise. He told her that he was there to arrest her ass. So, she asked him why... And he tells her for a traffic ticket. Now, you know damn well that's not how that works. You know the traffic ticket is what they use just to basically get you in the car so that they can get you to the jail and then give you the real fucking charges. You know the ones they still actually getting the judge to sign off on for the warrants that your ass got. Count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Like, what the fuck? Yes, yes. That's what's happening. So... The traffic ticket was what she was supposedly getting arrested on. Okay. Now, what did her dumb ass do? She went and actually said, Oh, really? Because, um, I went to school on Monday. Have you seen the video? She asked the officer, had he seen the video? The officer was like, no. Oh, because I went to school on Monday, posed at a student, and asked if, um, you know, if he had saw it and wanted to know what he thought. Unfortunately, he hadn't. But if they told you, that they here to arrest you on a traffic ticket. Why the hell is you self snitching? You watching them niggas in them songs that be telling everything that they did, where they did it at, who they shot, who they robbed, who boo boo boo, where they get their money from, all of that. And then try to figure out how the fuck they got a fed charge when that shit come back up later. Yeah, do it. Do it. They sit and listen to that just so they know. And what you do? You went and gave them some fucking ammo because your dumb ass recorded it, posted it, and then asked the officer on top of that. Oh, did you see the video? Because, you know. And then said it's because they mad and they basically hate on her. The superintendent and the principal was mad at her for coming up to the school and basically getting away with um, making it there. And I guess she made it out and home. 
um, before anybody noticed. So her and the superintendent and principal probably weren't on the best of terms there at that point. So there was a little issue that had arose. And she's saying that it's because they was mad at her for able, actually being able to pull it off instead of the fact that she fucking broke the law and came up in them kids' schools and was trotting around with a fucking camera like that shit was cute. The ticket, we know, was just to get your ass in, in the back of the car. Like, other than that, they would have just sent you some paperwork and told you you got to come to court for something because you got a ticket. No, in this instance, and then you come and fucking with kids at school and everything, you talking to folks and all that. They gonna have about 59 extra counts just for your ass, just because they racking them up right now. That's why they need you in there on that traffic ticket, so they can take them extra three days that, that they can hold you in jail for a traffic ticket for. Unless the judge order your ass to something. To get the rest of them warrants issued for the other charges that your ass got for walking around the school. Who the hell? Now, I ain't gonna lie. I have actually... Went to my children's school, walked on in, except for I come to my kids' school all the time. So, I walk around, and I kind of was on the school board, um, so I knew the superintendent of the school district. I knew all the teachers. My daughter did certain things at the school as well, and she was in a lot of the gifted stuff, so therefore, I was there all the time, but I implemented planted excuse me myself into the school board system and was on the school board so that i could be able to move around a little bit more freely which is exactly what i did so it, but i did it legally they 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 used to seeing me because i'm pulling up is i want to know what's going on in here how it's going down what's this curriculum i don't want to see it when you get home i want to be here and see how y'all interacting with my child and everything that's that's differences but you have to know how to do that and approach that and do it right this lady didn't do it right because that wasn't her agenda she showed up looking like a fucking 30 year old in a hoodie that's what she looked like the makeup didn't work the kids told on you and then the police came and picked your ass up on a ticket and so you and this superintendent or whoever you got beef with i think they won boo you got this gratification to make it out but you're going to have the gratification as well of having some fucking charges. And you know how they be. You don't fuck around and not be able to come to another school for the next 20 years fucking with them by the time they finish putting that into your conditions of your new probation. Okay. Word to the wise. Don't try to show up to your kids' school people in a hoodie and a camera and eat with them and shit and pretend to be a student and then act like you're doing a damn social experiment and get your ass locked up. Um, and they use a ticket to do it. I'm just saying, don't do it. It ain't smart, people. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just here to report the news. So, let me know what y'all think about that as well. You know, how she went up there and did that foolishness and then got herself locked up. Everybody just, like this self-snitching era gotta stop. Y'all gotta cut that out. Cut that out. La La Madness. And this is another episode of The Fierce Review. You guys know what to do. Like, share, subscribe. Um comment as well like to see your comments if you have any and follow me on all social media platforms check me out on other um things as well check out the rest of my videos also there's a plethora for you guys to sift through and this is lala madness and i'm out